it's an exciting time to be alive. There is so much new technology, new, new innovation coming out, and it's coming out as, as, at an exponential rate. Today is as slow as it gets. Hi, I'm Will Tamblin, the Chief Operating Officer at Voxon Photonics. We make the Voxibox, the world's most advanced 3D holographic display. So about 10 years ago, my mate Gav and I used to have a, we called it the Thursday night lab session, which is just an excuse to hang out in the shed and make stuff and come up with crazy ideas. And I said, well, why don't we make a robot with a holographic projector for a head? And Gav said, that's impossible. Holographic projectors don't exist. And I said, well, exactly. So let's, let's build one. We started playing around with laser pointers and bits of cardboard, and we started waving a piece of cardboard in the air and making a line float in midair. And we thought, hang on a sec, if we can make one line of dots, why not make lots? So we started hacking away with projectors. And then about three years ago, we found another group of guys over in the US um, who were doing a really similar thing and said, hey, you guys have solved a heap of the technical issues. Um, let's join forces. So after a, a flurry of activity, we actually yeah, have joined forces with them. The technical name for what we have created is a swept surface volumetric display. And it works by having a, a physical membrane, a screen moving up and down really, really fast. And we're projecting thousands of frames a second of slices on it. And we're building a model of a 3D object a similar way to is done in 3D printing, but because it's happening so fast through persistence of vision, your mind actually sees the 3D object. So the core technology is a display technology, so you can use it to display any sort of 3D data. I mean, we've had it the, the Voxybox in at primary schools, and we've had the Year 7 students actually building levels for games on it, so they've instantly grasped the, the, the idea behind it, you know, writing the code to program the game, and actually seeing it come to life on the Voxybox problem was absolutely amazing. Yeah, another key potential market is in medical imaging. So any sort of 3D medical data can be displayed on the Voxybox, um, uh, initially for education, but then eventually down the track for diagnosis. I mean, you can imagine the, the joy on a mother-to-be's face when they see an ultrasound of their baby appearing in 3D hologram. So I think there's a big difference between an idea and an innovation, um, and that difference is in the actual following through and implementing it. Having ideas is, is a lot of fun, and it's, it's the easy bit, but actually following through and implementing them, that's the hard bit and that's the challenge. The, the startup community and the, the entrepreneurial ecosystem here is, it's really fertile. There's, there's a lot of help. Because it's such a close-knit community, everyone's really out there to help each other out. I think that's a, a really positive aspect of, of starting a business here in Adelaide.